It was mid-September 2016. I switched on the camera to make my iOS Reel video, but it was very laboured. I wasn't really connected with what I was saying, so I figured I probably could use a break. So I went downstairs, had an early breakfast. I came back up here for my half eight Swift. But again, I, I wasn't enthusiastic about it. And I started to ask myself, why am I even doing iOS? Is this the career path that I want? It was like a crisis of conscience. So I just took a complete break from the schedule. And it didn't make sense because up until then it had been delivering great results for me. I was putting out regular videos, I'd released my first app into the App Store, and yet there I was, out of fuel, not feeling inspired, stranded in the middle of the highway, not knowing which way to go. I decided to go with the flow. I spoke with a couple of developer friends, a web development project came on the scene and I was doing other stuff. I did an Ubuntu course, I did a JavaScript course and I was feeling excited about development again. What I was learning, I enjoy learning. And what I was learning was applicable to a real world project. And that's the first mistake I made. I think I've, I made two mistakes. One was being too strict with the schedule. The second mistake I made was not having another iOS app to work on after releasing my first one into the store. When you're working on a real world project, it's really exciting. At least I find it exciting. And it's the best approach to learning in my opinion, rather than just learning Swift for the sake of it, if you actually have an app that you're applying that learning to, I think that you're gonna find that you're gonna get much more out of the experience, you're gonna feel much more inspired. So that's the first mistake I made, and the second mistake being the schedule. Having that freedom to work on other stuff allowed me to get turned on to iOS again. I got turned on by learning Ubuntu and JavaScript, which allowed me to get turned on again about iOS. So I know personally that I need that freedom. It's the intuitions that will guide you as to what is the most appropriate action for you. So by giving myself that freedom, I rediscovered other passions and now I'm in the process of amalgamating those passions now which I'll speak of further in future videos but there you have it schedule versus flow sometimes the schedule can work if you're in a little bit of a rut you may need to be a little disciplined and decide upon something and stick with it but you may find further down the line you reach a point of diminishing returns and it's time to pivot and introduce a little bit of freedom when you know you can trust yourself. So does this mean that I'm just being lazy now that I'm going with the flow? Not at all. In fact, it's 3.36 a.m. right now. I'm getting back into polyphasic sleep. I have another channel. I've got several, but I'll leave you a link to this one. It's my polyphasic sleep channel and I'm making videos on there right now about that. I hope you got something from this one. Have a project that you're working on. I know it can be difficult to come up with app ideas, but spend some time contemplating that and have a real world project to work on. I think you'll find you'll get much more out of it. Hope you got something from this one. I'll catch you next time. Peace.